Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. We're here at the uh, yearly Brussels Games Festival. Uh, it's my first time here, so I'm very uh, curious to see which publishers and what games we will find here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, we're here at the booth from uh, Totilix uh, Games. Uh, this is Christine from Totilix, hi. and this is Xavier from Access Jeux. Yes, hi, everyone. And uh, you're uh, you're here with uh, a new game called uh, Totilix as well. Yep. Uh, Christine, what can you tell me about the game itself? Well, actually, the the main thing in that game is that you have 110 cards. With this these cards, you play up to 40 different games. Mm -hmm. in any language okay. all together, yeah. which means that at the same table everybody can play his language, can be uh, handicapped and not knowing the letters, okay. you can be uh, any age and everybody can play Still together. Play together. Okay. Uh, well, actually in some games, some games are for people who are um, um, more advanced, okay. some for people who don't know at all the Anything letters, about games, and yeah. some <laughs> games are for mixed, Okay. and any kinds of games. That's pretty interesting, so you've got a game that, that matches about just about any kind of gamer. Some of the games you play with only letters, yeah. but only, you don't make words. Okay. Some games you play, uh, you uh, play with words that you don't write, mm -hmm. and some games you play with words that you write, mm -hmm. and some games you play with words, uh, with uh, sentences, All right. and then like, then it's poetry and uh, oh. it's crazy. You, <laughs> you, and in nice. the box there will be only. Yeah, only 12 only games. <laughs> 12 games. And then uh, when you go on the website, mm -hmm. be, it will be free. You ha you'll have the rule for, for all, all the, the others. 40 games. Yeah. And the pr you're going to tell me, well, how can I choose my game? <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Easy. You look in the, um, uh, in the, the manual, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you choose if you want to play oh, right. letter game mm -hmm. or uh, well, I want to. I don't. I don't know the letters. Okay, take this game. Mm -hmm. Or I want to very funny or strategy or yeah, okay. memory. So and, all the, and the different themes icons, basically are in there. You, and you, you, can you can check choose. the icons. Yeah. So all the easy. games have their own icons that indicate what type of game it is. So it makes uh, it easy to choose. Uh, you go through to. Right, so uh, I'd like to talk to uh, Xavier uh, from Accessi Jeux, mm -hmm. and you've uh, made the game accessible for uh, nearsighted, uh, uh, visually impaired, and blind people as well. Yeah. Can, can you hold it a little bit closer? Yeah, we we like we, we started uh, three years ago to adapt uh, game, board games for blind people and visually impaired people. Yeah. Because uh, we could only find in, in France. Uh, Uno, Scrabble, yeah. and uh, I, I'm geek, and I wanted to play like uh, everybody, and uh, I wanted to share this uh, pleasure. Mm -hmm. So um, I decided with friends uh, 
well, see, well seeing friends, mm -hmm. yeah. good, good seeing friends, uh, to 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 start uh, the, this uh, project. And um, what we usually do is open the box and put uh, tactile uh, points on the board game, so the the blind people can play with, with yeah, it. Yeah, so they can feel what card. And uh, with uh, with Chris, when we when I met Christine in uh, French festi uh, board game f festivals, um. yeah, uh, we we decided. Uh, uh, together to, to, to work on a, an, an accessible ver, ver, version for blind people. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to do it, she wanted to do it, but we had to find money. Yeah. So uh, we found a, fun, a big foundation in France, Malakoff Médéric, who gave the money to... To, to publish the game. Yeah. yeah. So the, the board game uh, will uh, be ready a few weeks after Christine. Okay. We are working with the same uh, designer, okay. Bonnie, B O N Y. Yeah. B O N Y. B O N Y. We 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 love him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand those cars will be bigger and have brighter colors or bigger contrast. Yeah, there contrast. will be three three ways to to read the cards with the eyes yeah. uh, we, for people like me who mm -hmm. see a little bit mm -hmm. uh, with big letters and big uh, contrast yeah. um, there will be braille mm -hmm. uh, for people who know braille and the, uh, the other way it will be um, uh, tactile uh, letters so the people who don't know braille and yeah. are not able to read feel the letters. can yeah, feel yeah, the yeah. letter yeah. Okay, well and that yeah, sounds very they, interesting. There will be uh, no none of these writings of course yeah. it uh, will be only uh, Big, big, yes. straight letters. Simpler and then bigger, clearer, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, well, thank you very much for that wow, explanation. Thank you. And uh, good luck with your game and here yeah. at the fair. <laughs> See you next time. Wow. Thanks. I'm here with Timo from Dragon Dawn Productions and Timo has a new a game called Dar Winning. It's a trick-taking car game. So Timo, uh, this has been kickstarted this year yeah. successfully. Yes, it took uh, more effort this time than some other times. We yeah. have kickstarted now five different projects Okay. and this was the, the last of them. Mm -hmm. um, and um, despite the, let's say, small troubles it's now existing mm -hmm. uh, printed and it's even very close to be available because the, the, the copies are right now in the German customs okay so <laughs> whenever <for> <laughs> whenever the custom official stamps it yeah exactly <laughs> then the backers will get their yeah. copies and yes. it will be available yes uh, okay cool so what can you tell me about the game uh, well as not, as the name tells this is all about evolution mm -hmm. you you are always playing uh, an animal species mm -hmm. like an elephant yeah and um, the um, old animals have different kind of abilities there is the food chain value mm -hmm. let's use it like this so yeah. food chain value like nine which corresponds to your um, symbol so if i would play elephant i would have my D. These okay. are these are uh, the letters of Darwin. Yeah. So this would be the N, and there is the A for. You can choose which letter yeah, you like. Okay. So if you would be then, for instance, the beetle, you would be here at number two. Yeah. Uh, you would have um, your population would be eight. So you would have eight eggs at the beginning. There's plenty of animals I see in the box as well. Yeah, thirteen different animals. Okay. We, we we made ten, and then our backers 
um, made three more. So okay. that is how, you, how, we, how we actually ended up having all of these. So some of these animals are Kickstarter animals. Mm -hmm. Like I said, three of them. One of the one so of those is for instance dragon, <laughs> yeah. and uh, cool. and then this is also a Kickstarter animal. Uh, it's called the green lizard. Yeah. And uh, then there is a seal that is also okay. a Kickstarter animal. This is a trick-taking game. Mm -hmm. So you start with ten cards, and um, at the beginning of the game there are also these these areas. Out of these areas, we will uh, shuffle these and and give you five areas. Well, not give, uh, just yeah. deal five areas like this. Okay. So these are the areas that are existing in this era. Mm -hmm. And then we play, we start with ten cards. Uh, so we play trick-taking. Let's assume that there are three players. Yeah. These are the combinations that you can play. Okay. So the combinations rem remind you very much of the poker hands. <laughs> so um, one pair, three of the same color, three consecutive numbers, three of the same number, uh, three of the uh, same color uh, in a um, consecutive number. Yeah. So it's uh, the, uh, the royal um, flush. Uh, yes, royal. royal yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, four of the same number. Mm -hmm. So you cannot play exactly all the poker hands, but quite many. It's, it looks like it, yeah, yeah, exactly. And we play always one round, so let's assume that I would play just uh, something very simple, like a simple four, mm -hmm. then you would be able to beat that easily by playing, for instance, three of the same color, yeah. and then the opponent plays just something. Yeah, something else. You, yeah. you can always play just one card, and you are not allowed to pass, mm -hmm. so even when uh, someone plays something really high, this is not exactly really high, you would combine, combine the numbers to see how, how good your color is. Okay. But this would be then the winning combination. Yeah. All of the other cards, these would be then discarded. And out of these three, you can choose one uh, to improve your, your oh, beetle. Yeah, yeah. So you would be able to have, for instance, this is the big brain. You would be able to have the big brain in here. All right. You would be able to move to Arctic, which would mean that it goes here. All right. Okay. You would be able to have one more beetle. Can you press it a bit? Yeah. I'll just yeah, like exactly. this. Yeah. And then you would have one more beetle, or you could have um, big teeth in here. This okay. is the big teeth, and big teeth gives, for instance, ability for you to eat two plates upward and one free food. So each card has three options for you to improve your animal. Yes, Evolve. exactly three, but uh, there are four possible things that you can have, oh, and right. each card has always three out of those four. Mm -hmm. So for instance, this card has uh, something that none of your red cards have. This has plates, so this would be able to be played on top yeah. here. So this would mean that you would be able to move Move upward up in, in, the food in, chain. in the food chain. <laughs> yeah, plus so. two would actually be really ha handy for you. It would allow you to go plus two. Mm -hmm. And because you are under five, you get one free, so you jump over. Oh, okay. So nice. if, if these are really closely related like this, yeah. and you are here, you jump oh, all no. the way. All right. So that, that means that the changes in the food chain can be very, very drastic yeah. in, in a short while. And you can always eat whatever is below you in the food chain. So, being the top predator of the food chain is really handy, even though right now it's an elephant. Yeah, yeah. So, my elephant would not be able to eat your uh, box because you have hard shell. Okay. How to beat the hard shell? Well, you card you, for you, that as well, of course. <laughs> there, there is a card for that too. There, there is the tools. So, right. you could have a can opener. <laughs> a can so, opener. If, you, if your uh, elephants would know how to use tools, then they would be able to use can opener for um, cracking the shell, cracking the, the shell exactly. of, of, the, of the beetle. So for, for all of these cards, they always have nice options on what you can do. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a bit tricky always um, that you need to consider that you want to win all of the rounds except the last one. When someone runs out of the cards, then the winner doesn't get to play anything, but everyone else gets to play one card. All right. Because that's like a balancing mechanism. Mm -hmm. So that if you have really crappy cards, this still allows you to have some kind of um, improvements into your species. Yeah, exactly. And in the end, what happens when the cards run out, 
you need to compare what are the areas and how uh, well you are positioned in the food chain how can you feed your population so for instance in the elephant's case there is no um, highlands mm -hmm. there is swamp i get one food from the swamp um, and there is no savanna so there would be one hungry elephant so i would need to eat some animal below me right. which is not having hard shell which mm -hmm. is not poisonous which is not communicating which is basically available to be eaten yeah, exactly <laughs> or if i can't feed my population one of my population dies never more than one just one of your population dies but with two elephants one of your population dying that's quite drastic yeah that's drastic <laughs> When you have eight uh, beetles, it's less drastic, mm -hmm. but it's still nevertheless something that will happen. Okay. You get points by having uh, more areas, you get points by going further up in the food chain, you yeah. get points by having more population, and all the cards will give you points. So it's a very balanced game in the sense that you can win by having any kind of combination as long as you are not using only one area. It's, mm -hmm. it's really difficult to, to win only by having, say, more areas yeah yeah so that's pretty clever it's just kind of like an engine building game where you improve your your animal in this case by winning tricks yes yeah, so that's a, exactly. a nice combination of two uh, mechanics into yeah. one game that's, yes that's clever and um, typically this is played uh, by people who are let's say eight or nine uh, and upwards mm -hmm. because as you can see the, there is only the name of the card yeah so and it's language independent it, yes there's there's just the uh, icons uh, the box includes rules in German and English, mm -hmm. um, but we have PDF rules in many other languages, including French and Czech and Spanish and Portuguese and Finnish and, you know, yeah. all sorts of Lots languages. Of languages. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for that explanation. Yeah. And uh, good luck uh, with your game. Thank you. Yeah. The uh, Mangrove Games booth at the Brussels Game Festival. Uh, this is Phil. Yeah, hi, hi Phil. Uh, so we've got a brand new game here called Hollywood Death Race. Yep. Which uh, features all kinds of uh, popular culture references. I see, uh, and it's a racing game. So it's going to be on Kickstarter later this year. Yep, October second. So October second. Okay. So, uh, Phil, what can you tell us uh, about this game? Well, it's, um, as you say, it's a racing game, let's say a goofy, crazy racing game. Mm -hmm. um, it features uh, vehicles uh, inspired by the pop culture. Yeah. So, um, you'll have many vehicles, like, uh, like um, a car that can go through time and yeah. fly. Mm -hmm. You have um, a kid like this one. Um, it's, a, it's a kid um, on, on a bike bicycle. with an alien. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Exactly. You can fly too. Uh, the alien can heal other characters okay. in exchange for um, the game currency. Yeah. Uh, so on this game, you have uh, modular boards, so you can do your own your own your own tracks. Own tracks yeah. yeah. You can change it every time you play. Mm -hmm. So um, each each uh, game will be different. You have yeah. You have small ones and big ones. Yeah. And you have L turns. Uh, so you you start by creating your track, mm -hmm. and then. Each, each board is, um, is a movie set. Yeah. So basically, you're going to race um, from movie set to movie set. Uh, and each, each movie has a different gameplay. Yeah. 
So like on this one, he, he's called the uh, Honey I Shrunk the Effections. Yeah. Effections is the yeah. in the garden. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're in the garden. Uh, you have to um, to fight against giant spiders. Well, the spider isn't giant. It's just you. Yeah, it's, it's been shrunk. Been shrunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you have ants that can steal you your your cubes. Yeah. Your life points or your um, or your stuff. Okay. Uh, you have a cave where everything goes. So if you go on the cave, mm -hmm. you can like. Grab uh, all yeah, the grab loot. all you want. <laughs> yeah. uh, grab all the loot. You have um, a space moon yeah. of death. A trench. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a space moon of a death. Well known where, trench. Yeah, <laughs> where you have, um, we have a hole for no reason. No reason at and all. And you have um, <laughs> a put a torpedo in the hole. So if you, as long as any player hasn't succeeded in doing that, well, you keep rolling. Okay. Yeah, you cool. keep. Yeah, but it's pretty simple. So you have, um, you have a dice there, which is which starts. At five, mm -hmm. and the first one to go there has to roll a die and do five or more. Yeah, exactly. If, okay. he's, if he doesn't succeed, then the die goes uh, oh, yeah. down to four. It so it's easier. It, yeah, it comes yeah, yeah. easier. Okay. And every board has uh, stuff like that. You have this one, for example, which is called Jurassic Land. Land. Yeah. Yes. Where there's a, a T-Rex. So if you do any noise, like shooting someone or blasting a crate. The T-Rex comes. Yeah. Yeah. He bites you, and he goes moving to. Um, he goes in search of anyone who's at four spots or less okay. from you, and he bites it too. Yeah. Okay. And that then, very yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. So that can wreak havoc. It so, looks yeah. fantastic. And these are all. This is still a prototype. It looks pretty good. Yeah. So these will all be standees. There's some zombies yeah. here. Yeah. Um, all the um, the non-playable characters are gonna be, be standees. standees yeah. yeah. But all the the playable vehicles are yeah. gonna be 3D miniatures. Okay, so okay. these will be uh, replaced by actual yeah, miniatures. Yeah, by miniatures, by uh, 32 millimeters miniatures, so cool ones. Okay. Um, <laughs> as for the, the gameplay, you play two vehicles. Mm -hmm. You play as teams. I mean, if, even if you are playing alone, you get two vehicles. Okay. And the goal of the game is to, um, to put your two, vehicle, two, two of your vehicles, uh, both your, two, your vehicles, yeah. to the finish line. To the finish. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, that sounds a lot of fun. I, I really love all the references and the, the movies. That sounds a lot of fun. I like racing games a lot, so I'll be looking forward to uh, to this on Kickstarter. Yeah, I'll uh, put a link in the description below if there's a website or something yeah, that yeah, people does. can visit. Yeah. All For right. the moment, we have a Facebook page, okay. so you can... Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you uh, very much, Phil, and uh, good you. luck uh, with the Kickstarter. I'm sure it'll be uh, a huge success. Thanks. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, so each of the scenarios lasts for 45 minutes up to one point one and a half hours to two hours. Okay. How many scenarios are there in the? Twelve in the the the, the, mass, the base let's say the base the the yeah. main quest okay. and you have some side quests also oh, to right. to manage. Uh, each of this is some lin unlinearity, non-linearities that you can choose. Each faction you choose may, may change the the, the, the ending the, of yeah, the, okay. the course of the game. Right. Uh, you have uh, three factions in the game. So one is the bandits, is the humans trying to survive in the in this wasteland. Right. Uh, you have the uh, monarch, which is an AI uh, who's it's who's take over all the west of the U.S. Okay. It started from San Francisco, conquered, uh, and they were stopped by the, um, let's say, the reminder of, uh, of the U.S. government okay. who come from the east and uh, stop them dead in the Midwest of the U.S. All right. So basically, Chicago and all uh, to New Orleans is a wasteland, wasteland. which is a uh, disputed land between Monarch and yeah. the reminder of the USA uh, government. Okay. So we are set, uh, we have some heroes with uh, different archetypes, each play differently. Uh, they have some background, as I said. Uh, Jack is a renegade from the monarch, from the AI, All so right. he has to flee. So he went amok when he encountered Lily, one of the heroes. She's a genius from, um, say, um, uh, engineer or stuff All this right. way. Okay. And this reminded him, he gave a, a feedback of his, uh, his own uh, past. And he went amok. He killed all his team, and he saved the girl. And now he's uh, as a renegade of Monarch and has to flee. Okay. So Chicago is um, so is in the, taken by the ice. So it's minus 70 degrees Celsius during the whole year, except yeah. for three months when there is the the dawn, which is the summertime. And yeah. actually, it's only minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. That's doable. <laughs> That's pretty tough. So you will have also survival mission this way with uh, hypothermy, uh, hypothermia and stuff this way. Okay. Uh, so basically, people live underground. People live in cities underground, uh, the mines. And um, basically, our heroes are coming from outside the city. And they are going in, uh, coming in the town, and they want to to, um, to reconnect with some connection there, uh, which is Dawn, one of the heroes. She's um, a gangster. She stayed there. Uh, Lily was born there, and they were in their hope to flee from from the AI, rene the renegade wants yeah. to go inside the town. At least when the the winter will resume, they will be safe for at least nine months. All right. The AI will not be. So there are several mines clustered around uh, Chicago, mm -hmm. but there is some mystery inside because in the downtown of Chicago, no one goes back. So there's some expedition going there, and people get killed or no, they vanished. Never return. Yeah. So this is one of the three factions. The last one I did not say about. Yeah. This is some kind of villainous. Um, ah, something mysterious going. Yeah, on. mystery. So, so there's a third faction. Okay. In the Kickstarter that we're gonna start, there will be uh, this kind of we kind of anti-spoil stuff. And you, if you don't want to know about it, then you save it for later. All right. That's interesting. The ones who want to scrap it, they want to see the the stuff and paint paint them. They will open it. Yeah. But you can save this for the last. Cool. So that's. That's, uh, that's nice, so there's yep. a little bit of uh, secret stuff yeah, exactly. in there. So I like how the game has this entire backstory and you're actually really uh, role-playing into this story. That's, that's exactly. So I understand that the game, is, it's a cooperative uh, yes. point allocation uh, system in a game, yes. but so you do have some role-playing elements. Exactly, so the, the, the game is based in two types. So you have first the board, which mm -hmm. is the most important of the both. So you choose your scenario before. Yeah. You set based on the scenario booklet. You uh, you place the the boards. Mm -hmm. You have eight tiles, which is double sided, yeah. that you can re also modular uh, yeah. modification rearrange, yeah. re and uh, it sets you the mission, initial mission that you have to do. Mm -hmm. Place the scenario uh, cards that you need to to manage, yeah. and also um, detail the um, the kind of. Uh, location for the loot because oh, there is a loot system yeah. and on top of that when you get the cards you have a crafting system as well so oh, you nice. can combine initially the, the lower level you don't need any specific uh, abilities yeah. but later on in the game uh, you need some speci special special that you yeah you need some xp craft, so. yeah and at the end, even you have some specific mission that you have to go, for instance, in the plant, restart the forge, for, so that there is another board when there is a nuclear power plant that you need to restart, then go to another one to start. They, of course, enemy wants to, keep, to take you over, to, to, to control you. And then once you have secured the mission, then you have the forge. So when you go to the campaign mode, the second mode of the game, once you finish your scenario, you resume to a kind of map of Chicago from, uh, from above. 
and it allows you to, to make some action in between games. So if you choose to, um, let's say, overwhelm all the bandits around uh, the bandit gangs, you can be the king of the bandits. All right. At the end of the, co the campaign, you will have all the buddies to help you. Or you can choose also to collect all the loot. There's some mission with some morale stuff. Oh, some right. choosing. So you have to make choices. Yeah, so some, some mine will be attacked. You say, I don't give a shit. I want to go there and yeah. pick the loot when the guys are not there. Okay. And then you climb up and at the end you can have an exoskeleton with some dual weapons, um, heavy weapon that you can manage. Of course, in some mission of infiltration, the, the, the heavy skeleton will not be of use. No, exactly. So you have some investigation stuff also. This is the last one of the, let's say, three main stuff that you can do because your hero is, is as a background, mm -hmm. has some relationship with the villain, the last antagonist. All right. And you can also finish the game with some discussion points. If you find some hints around here and there in the, in the yeah. helping gangs and people, then you can find some hints and at the end there will be some discussion instead oh. this will help you in the season two the season one the ending of season one will influence the season two that's what we expect if we succeed in the Kickstarter yeah, exactly. you will end up with one faction on the other there is no good and bad right. each of them there's the AI yeah the AI in the in the city people have all their house they have their car but the, the, the trade-off is no one has um, free, um, free uh, will to do whatever he wants All right. and the uh, birth is controlled as well. All right. So basically it's a kind of ideal according to uh, like a computer will do. Computer, uh, yeah, exactly. If you like this, you have your house, everything, you don't live uh, under city with, uh, with crappy situation, yeah, crappy yeah. life. But everything is structured and you can't de uh, deviate from the rules. Exactly. So you could choose to ally with Monarch <laughs> yeah, instead sure. of, uh, of course, decision will be be up to you. Mm -hmm. Some hero might say I'm not okay with that, so I will part from the from the from your team. Yeah. And I will go with the other. Way. Once you will fight the other faction, you can have your your guy in front of you against you. And at oh, yeah. the end, it's up to you with your RPG to say okay. I made a mistake, guys. I'll come back. There will be some opportunity that you can switch side again and say, okay, I made a mistake, guys. Uh, That's cool. And, and during the game, you are encouraged to have some RPG, uh, let's say. Um, yeah, exactly. So everything you do uh, has an impact on the rest of the game and yeah. kind of makes the story flow in a certain direction. Exactly. That sounds super interesting. Yeah, and for instance, in some game, we have some guys, there was some loot there, and the guys wanted, he wants to come from outside, one of the teammates, yeah. and the guys, Jack, said no. You want so we roll the dice for, for the for the strength. The one who wins, Jack wins. The guy did not enter. Yeah. He insisted. I want to do it again. He try again. He failed again. I say this time you take a hit uh, damage because. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So everything. <laughs> so you can do yeah. this way. Uh, it's it's okay. pseudo cooperative. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would say. All right. Well, that sounds good. And it's coming to Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Yeah, on the 23rd of October. So we'll be in Essen. You will be able to through uh, our application. So to also uh, go to Kickstarter. And, yeah. uh, and register and uh, okay. so the pledge level is a uh, hundred dollar US dollar and mm -hmm. uh, about 88 euro at the yeah, moment yeah. Uh, this will uh, allow you to have uh, this for the moment we have only one pledge there will be some extension for scenarios okay. there should be a, a, a new boss for, for a boss fight because okay. at the end there's a boss fight yeah. <laughs> some cars and decks like uh, like some games of some patterns that you have to learn and uh, to okay. see because it's really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, so that's uh, approximately it. That and there will stretch like goals, of course, uh, as usual. Yes. So, for instance, in the in, so the, the game will be released after in uh, in um, in all the stores. Yeah. But later on, after the Kickstarter is delivered, and for instance, in the, the main box, you will have only a, a generic bandit. Mm -hmm. But if you have some uh, some stretch goal, there will be some specific because yeah. each bandit has their own uh, rules and uh, all right. feelings. So Different enemies. Yeah, technos. There is some guys. They are like the pain, and uh, they have some shotguns. They are like to have so close range. Close range. Shot. So if you have the, the basic box, you have only the generic guy. But if you have the stretch goal, yeah. you will have the guy with some uh, more stuff piercing there. stuff yeah. and. Uh, they will be cool. different. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much thank for you, that Raymond. explanation and yep. uh, good luck on the Kickstarter. Yep. And we'll see thank that you. in the 23rd of October. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This year. Thank Thanks. you very much. Yes. <laughs> Have a good day.
And so that was the Brussels Games Festival 2018. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.